Hello, beautiful, and welcome back to my channel. Today, what we're gonna be doing is just the usual, just watching people burn their hair. And also, looking at myself on camera right now, I feel like I could not look any different than when I first started this job. Can we get a side-by-side -side comparison, Marcel? Can you just like edit in a little side-by-side? -side? What happened to me? Am I angsty again? I don't know if I ever lost my teenage angst. Like I literally look like a little rebel child right now and I don't mind it. I do like looking emo again. I feel like I'm digressing. Like I'm getting older, but I'm also like trying to be my little teenage self still. Is that how that aging works? I guess I'm okay with it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> my look today. And do you like old Brad or new Brad? Cause old Brad was a lot. New Brad is even more, but I prefer new Brad. All right, enough about me. Cause nobody cares. So today, perms. Some people love them, some people hate them. A lot of people are horrified of them because of bad experiences they had in the 80s. And I I feel that uh, a lot of perms were very messy in the 80s and it got really out of control. And a lot of people just got their hair ruined by their hairstylist because you know what, believe it or not, perms are very, very, very hard to do. Sometimes harder than hair color is to do. So when I see people do it at home, I'm like, dude, okay. One thing doing hair color at home, it's another thing doing perms at home. Perms are literally science, man. And it takes a lot of experience to do a really good perm. Experience that I don't even have, okay? It was like a year and a half of education and I still don't know how to do a perfect perm. It seems like an easy process, but I will explain the entire thing as you watch these videos and tell you exactly why it's not as easy as it looks, okay? But you guys, let me just bore you for one millisecond. You guys have also been asking me to do a giveaway involving Glitterati by X Mondo, my hair care brand. If you don't already know what it is, and that is what it is. I have a hair care brand and I'm very excited about it. If you guys would like to enter the giveaway, I'm giving away three bottles of Glitterati to anybody worldwide. And all you have to do is follow me on my Instagram, BradMondoNYC, and follow X Mondo on Instagram at X Mondo Hair. Here is the handles, that's what they're called. And then like my most recent picture that has to do with the giveaway, you'll see it. It's the most recent post on my Instagram page. Just give it a like, do whatever you want, comment. And on April 11th, I will be picking three of you to be the winners of Glitterati. So if you guys would like to receive Glitterati for free, possibly, then go enter. It's super easy and fun. Oh my God, giveaways. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, let's start watching perm fails. Let's do this. And our first video is by Harem Manar. Harem Manar. Harem Manar. TV. And it is called I Tried to Perm My Own Hair. Fail. All right, girl. Let's see what happens. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a perm from home. And I know when some of you guys are thinking, no, I don't know how to perm my own hair. At least she put a little bit of thought into this. At least she contacted a few cosmetologists and asked for their advice. I'm a little concerned, however, why those cosmetologists said it was okay. Oh my God, by the way, I totally forgot. Yo, I have a different hair color, I know, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys like this bright colored hair. I had a heart attack after doing it. It was cool for like literally an hour and then I hated my life. I didn't feel like getting stared at every second of my life as if I'm getting less stares with this hair color. I don't know. I hate attention. Oh my God. Shut up. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way. Hey guys, what's up? It's me from the future. Total <laughs> fail. My hair is destroyed. I have a dream, people. That I Just what I thought. Wake up at 627. I can brush my teeth. 627. I can put my clothes on my hair and I can just leave. Amen. Because my hair is already going to be done and curls and my eyelashes are already done and I can just... Some of you may be watching this video to see if my hair does fall out. Yeah, it did. I'm ready for this. Wait, These I'm excited. Are the <coughs> perm rods that I'm going to use. Okay. Into Yo, already, already she is doing very bad job. <laughs> So there's no end papers involved with this. End papers, if you don't know, this is what they look like. They're used to keep the ends wrapped while you're perming the hair. And if you don't, you could have a lot of issues with having hooks at the end of your hair, or your hair could not properly curl at the bottom. Also, when she's twisting it, 
up the hair rod. You need to make sure all the hair is evenly distributed on the hair rod or else some spots, if there's more hair in one spot, the waving solution is not gonna fully penetrate the entire hair strand. Wow, that was a lot for me. I'm really bringing back memories. Okay, so definitely, <laughs> if you're gonna ever try this at home, please don't, but also, please don't. So I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say because I don't even want you to do it at home. I don't, I don't want you to do it at home. I just want you to not. And also, I don't think she's putting a lot of thought to the placement of where she's putting these rods in her hair. We'll just keep watching and I'll explain later. Acidic, I was told, oh, is less damaging. no. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry to keep stopping, but another big thing. First of all, I don't really know what kind of perm she's using, but you're supposed to do it on wet hair. I don't know why your hair is dry. I'm 99.9% .9 sure you don't ever do a perm on dry hair. I never have, I've never seen anybody do it on wet, on dry hair. That's just not how it works. What is going on, girl? I thought you consulted. What happened to the consultation with the cosmetologist? I'm sorry, so much information in this video. If you don't like information, just don't watch this video. Goodbye. But if you do want information about this, then keep watching, because I'm gonna keep stopping it every five seconds, and I'm gonna talk a lot. This frizziness, whatever it looks like on the rod, like if it looks nice and pretty and smooth and clean, that's usually how it's gonna come out, pretty nice, smooth and clean. If it's not smooth and clean and perfect, you're gonna get some frizzy, frizzy, frizzy curls. Like, it's gonna be really bad. Like, you're gonna end up perming frizz into your hair. So that's really just a bad idea, okay. If I put alkaline on my hair, I was told that it would probably just fall out by multiple people, and they all recommended to do the acidic perm. All right, stopping it again. We're, we're talking about types of perms, okay? This is gonna be a very informational video. So this is where it gets really complicated. It's been a minute. Really gonna try my best to give you the most accurate, perfect information possible. I did research before this video to make sure most of the things that I know are correct. We have acidic perming solutions. We have alkaline perming solutions. And we have exothermic perming solutions. Bam, we got those three, all right? We're gonna go through them real quick. Acidic perming solutions are generally the most gentle perming solutions at a pH value of six to seven. Normal hair strand pH is a five. So if you're pushing it beyond that, it's gonna be a little more harsh. So if you're pushing it to seven, it's pushing it a little bit, but definitely goes up higher than that with alkaline perms. So acidic perming solutions are made with glycerol, Monothioglycolate. My cosmetology teacher would be so proud of me right now. Basically an acid perm is not gonna break as many bonds as the other perms would. Which is gonna be good for people who have previously colored their hair or have dry hair or have a little bit of damage in their hair. But I would really not recommend you do any kind of perm if your hair is severely dry. It's not gonna look good. If your hair is healthy to like moderately dry, you've colored it like once or twice, it's not like bleach blonde or anything, you could probably do it. But otherwise I would not recommend it. Like I could not do it on my hair. My hair would be so damaged. Okay, almost done. Alkaline perm has an approximate pH value of 9.5. So it is definitely bringing up that pH very high. This should not be used on people who have dry hair or have previously colored hair. This is for people who have virgin hair, very healthy, healthy hair, who need more bonds broken in the process in order to achieve the wave. In this perming solution, we use ammonium thioglycolate which is more harsh, of course, than an acid perm. Then again, like I said, this is best for normal, healthy, or resistant hair. So if your hair is super thick, super healthy, this will be the perm for you. And lastly, we have exothermic perming solutions, which are self-heated perming solutions, which can be either acidic or alkaline. And I'm not even gonna get into that because it's a whole nother thing, but um, it's complicated. A lot of information. So she is using an acid perm, which I would recommend for her. So I don't know why she's saying that's wrong because she has previously colored hair. Her hair looks a little dry. Usually blonde hair is. So acid perm would be good for her and an exothermic one would be best, but I don't know what she's using. She didn't really say what she's using. It's telling me now to dump everything in this to this. Okay, <laughs> I just got done rinsing out. Yo, she literally like braided the top of her hair. I have never tried to do a perm with Braids. That seems a little risky and inconsistent. This okay, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I've ruined my hair. I didn't film the first look or the chopping with the scissors because it was probably something you guys didn't really want to see. It was very emotional. I had to chop my long luscious locks. Oh my god. So it's actually still long in the back. Oh. I kind of have like a mole 
<laughs> Yo! Okay, wait, still bad. Luckily, most of my hair could be salvaged, oh, but like babe. the front part, when I was like brushing, they would like go down and then they'd like bounce back up and be like this. When it dried, it was hard, like straw. Like this is days later, actually. You guys, I'm telling you, there are so many steps and there, it is so hard to do, even for somebody who's trained to do it, that like doing it at home is just like crazy to me. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort. If you don't rinse the hair for the recommended amount of time, after you use a perming solution, after you use a neutralizer, it's not gonna work. Like you really cannot do that at home. Like it doesn't work like that. Oh, and this poor baby, oh God, her hair. It looks but it is like so I damaged did. not worth it that was like the stupidest thing I've ever done but one of those things that I had to do or I would never stop dreaming about it oh I feel for you <sighs> oh, don't no it. don't do it I curled it today just kind of as the last little hurrah and now it's making me like super sad because it doesn't look bad when it's curled it's just when it's like straight I was actually pretty excited to get my hair cut so babe long, and I don't just do a chop do it chopped. It's really so bummed that perm didn't work out. Like, can you imagine just waking up and just having your hair like this every day? <laughs> that would not happen. Okay. This is another misconception with perms. Ooh, it is an education day on the Brad Amando YouTube channel. Perms, you're never, ever gonna get a wave like this. These beach waves, this is not what a perm is gonna do. Perm is gonna give you a natural looking wave. You're still gonna have to style it. It's gonna give you that style support, but it is not gonna give you beach waves. Nope, you can do a beach wave perm. It's not gonna make your hair like this though. It is not a thing. It's not gonna happen for you. It is just, that's not how it works. So, cut Today it. Today is the day that I'm going to get my hair cut. Cut it! I wanna like see her it. cut it! Ah, yay, she cut it short! Oh my god, I'm so excited. She's gonna feel like it's so much thicker and it's gonna so feel amazing. Oh. Listen, it looked good long too. It looks cute though. Like, she needed the chop. It looks very cute. I'm so happy for you. I love it. At least you got a haircut. I think you needed it. <laughs> the perm. Don't ever do it at home again, girl. Don't even touch the box. Put it away. Throw it away. Don't ever look at it again. Don't ever do a perm again. And if you were thinking about doing a perm, don't ever touch that thing. But at least after today, you'll have a little bit more knowledge about how to do a proper one. So, one more video today. We're gonna watch it, and we're gonna do it. And this is by Clever Style. Joe, thanks for coming back on the yeah. show. Oh, we're doing a guy. Wait, there's literally a box that's called Home Perm. That is probably worse than the boxes that say like, at home ombre. At home perm, there is literally no way of doing it well, unless you've had experience. Mm -hmm. This is dangerous. Don't do this at home. I yeah, please hair. don't do it at home. So, we need your hair wet. Is this what I saw him to earlier? Oh yeah. my god, they're the literally the using a... Oh no, oh no, he's like a wet dog. <laughs> no clarifying shampoo, the nothing. They're just going right in. Use the full bottle, massage with the hair, and then wrap a hot, moist towel around for 15 minutes. Actually, said we can't we take our time, so... Time. What is this? Guaranteed. Put a hot towel over your head. Yo, what the f What the f is going on? Somebody tell me, or else I'll come find you. <laughs> a few moments later. I don't know what this is. What do do? I have no comment. Oh, how does it feel? Ooh, it feels soft. Feels so good. Oh, it feels actually very conditioned. Your hair feels like a different hair. Okay, so now he looks great. So we're gonna go for. I wonder what that was. Okay, so they're doing a very tight curl, which is Wait, gonna be amazing for him. I'm very excited. You put the paper under the strand, and then... This is offensive. Do we have to use the paper? Is that actually important? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Why this is also so difficult, it's like trying to put wet toilet paper. It is so hard, so man. Sick. Makes me cry every time. Once you catch on to this, I feel like we could open a perming store. Like a salon? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Okay. Oh my god, this is so dangerous too. Like perming solution of gets in your eyes, you can go blind. They're just like, boo, woo. Let's make them blind. Okay, so now we just sit here for seven minutes. Oh. Okay, here's another thing. More education today. So also, you can leave it up to 45 minutes, they said, but you should be checking the hair strand every 10 minutes or so. Just be super anal about it. You can check it 
unraveling it very gently and checking the wave pattern to see if it's there and then putting the rod back in and adding more perm solution to it. You need experience to know what a nice perm wave looks like before you rinse it out, you know? But you should be checking it every 10 minutes and that is the way you know if it's done or not. He probably needs like 15 minutes on his hair or 20 because his hair is already lightened like he said before and he doesn't need it all the time. Definitely don't do 40 minutes. Please tell me they didn't do 45 minutes. Just to check the first curl. I mean, oh, started, for their checking. See, they're not gonna know what a good curl looks like. Okay, so now we just put it in there for three minutes yeah, and then stay there for three minutes. Just like leave it like that. That no. Really you need to get the solution out, not no. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Make it stop. Poor guy. Oh, oh god. Oh, please don't rub it. Please don't ever. Now once we're done oh with no. Dry, we towel dry it. No. No. The hair is still setting in place. You can't rub your hair after doing a perm. No, you have to be so gentle with it because your hair is still setting into place. Let me do a quick explanation. When the waving solution is applied, it swells the cuticle and the perm solution enters the cortex of the hair. And then basically a bunch of chemical stuff happens inside the hair strand and it forms to whatever the hair is placed on. So if it's on a round surface, it's gonna form a curl. If it's on a zigzag surface for some damn reason, it's gonna make a zigzag. You feel me on that one? And then the bonds are rejoined together in their new position to form the curl. And that is an explanation of how a perm works for idiots. Okay. Oh, stop roughing it up. Damn. Literally ramen noodles. It's like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> oh, no, it's so bad. Damn. Poor guy, man. Poor guy. <sighs> Moral of the story today, guys. Don't perm your own damn hair. Don't do it. And if you do want to perm your hair and you go to a salon for it, please investigate hardcore. Find that person who specializes in perms because it is difficult. And even some of the most experienced hairdressers don't know what the hell they're doing. So just do your research. That's with everything now. Like just do your research. Don't forget to, you know, enter my giveaway because it'll be fun to enter and it'll be fun to win one. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And don't forget to live your extra damn life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.